What's going on guys? It's your boy Scare Soldier back with another Borderlands 3 video and in today's video we are going to be looking at the brand new Torg assault rifle called the Lovable Rogue. Now the Lovable Rogue is an insane Torg sticky assault rifle that does a lot of damage and has some cool features. So starting off we have 14,000 base damage which is quite high, assault accuracy and the reload time is also quite sweet. Now because the fire rate is low the mag size is comparable because if you do have two points in the ridge distribution on a character like Moe's or even Forge, you're going to be able to maintain that mag size for a long time since the fire rate is slow on the weapon. So also what I would recommend on the gun is of course the annoyment on X2 mags uh, dealing extra elemental damage. Consecutive hit is also a fantastic annoyment to use. And if you want a little extra splash, of course you can get the 160% uh, percent extra splash damage after exiting Iron Bear of 18 seconds, of course. Now, this thing shoots stickies, so with those stickies, of course, is going to be some huge explosions. Now, when it comes to the stickies, you have to reload in order to activate them, and you guys saw that little homie missile that comes out. So, if you guys missed it on the card, it says that the Gryo Jets have a chance to spawn a homie missile, and that homie missile does a ton of damage as well. So, the way you use this gun as well is very interesting because the stickies can do a ton of damage so when you hit those stickies onto the enemy it's going to do a lot of damage before you even detonate once you detonate of course it's going to be game over but initially you can actually kill the enemies without detonating those bombs now we're going to go ahead and show you where to farm the gun of course and then we're going to check it out in some gameplay so i'll meet you guys over there all right guys so if you're interested in farming the weapon you have to come over to the castle crimson over at krieg's mind at dlc number four and the enemy you're going to want to be fighting is evil brick now there's also going to be evil mordecai at the same place but i think evil brick is the one who drops it it's his dedicated drop anyways but again the weapon is going to be found over there so it's a little bit of a way so make sure you have a snow drift so you guys can slide your way over there but again it's just, it's not that far just make sure you have something that's going to get you there as fast as possible so we're going to go ahead and kill him for you guys real quick to see if he drops us one but if not we're going to move on to the gameplay so we're going to kill him and then see what he drops a couple more shots there we go, we got a legendary. Now we'll just finish off Mordecai and then we'll check out what he dropped. They're kind of tanky some of these guys, man, over at this DLC to be honest with you. But it's fun at the same time, a little challenge never hurt. And we're almost done with him and here we go. So let's check out what Brick dropped us. Hopefully it is the lovable Rogue. And we got a plus ultra, so not bad. Not bad at all with the reload speed. I love reload speed. But anyways, let's move on to some gameplay of the gun. We are going to be taking on Tront first, and we're going to be seeing what's up. So I think I have action skill next to mags, 100 bonus, elemental damage with shock. So we're going to be getting that right now after exiting Iron Bear. And if we had action skill and with fire, that would be even better because this gun only comes in shock for those who didn't know. Having a different element would actually be better for the weapon since most enemies in the game have all health bars. But you see, we haven't even detonated any of those uh, grenades yet. And we're doing a ton of damage and look at that detonation what it did and keep in mind this is shock versus fire So pretty pretty nice result right there guys So we're gonna move on to some other gameplay right here We got grave ward now grave ward was also really cool now keep in mind all of these enemies We're going against have health bars and we're using shock which is at a huge disadvantage So again if we had fire would be a lot better better so we're going to go ahead and see how much damage we can get on grave ward real quick and then we're going to talk a little more about the weapon and also some of the things i like to use on my mows when i'm using splash weapons so let's go ahead and drop some stickies on this guy real quick so you see just the stickies alone on impact do quite a bit of damage now we're going to let them go off and damn look at that damage imagine if we used fire guys how insane it would be but nonetheless you guys get the point let's go ahead and check out some mobbing gameplay and talk about the weapon some more so the lovable rogue is an awesome assault rifle i'm super happy that torg got another great assault rifle in the game because it needed it heavily now the lovable rogue is extremely strong versus bosses which is why i would say that situationally this gun is for bosses because for mobbing really i mean if you really want to use it you can because look you see some footage right here of me just going through normal mobs but it's not convenient to be popping stickies on 
one individual target at a time when you have multiple enemies to deal with so sometimes it can be situational but overall i would say this is more of a bossing gun especially with the stickies and you can also do things like some for the road and just spam stickies on top of bosses and then let them detonate and absolutely do a ton of damage because the base damage of this weapon is insane especially just on impact when you stick the enemy with one of the stickies it does a ton of damage without even detonating now the gun only comes in shock element so that's one of the downfalls of the weapon so i would highly recommend you guys find enormous that add a different element to the gun because most enemies in the game have health bars or armor of some sorts so make sure you at least have something with fire urad or even corrosive to add to the gun now finally the gun can also come in a times two or a times one format so that's just of course something to note when you're farming if you want one of the best ones for dps overall i would highly suggest you guys look for the times two version now for character wise i would highly suggest you use this on mo's with a solid splash build because this thing has has a ton of splash damage to offer and if you guys want to do as much damage as possible with splash weapons Moe's is your character now for any other character in the game I would say that of course you can try this gun out on them but honestly this gun is extremely strong on Moe's now finally with that being said guys I hope the video's information helped you make a decision now Brick and Mordecai are kind of annoying to kill sometimes. They could take a little longer to kill, so is the farm completely worth it? Uh, yes, it is. The gun is that strong. It's probably one of the best Torg Assault Rifles in the game. So do I recommend you guys farm this gun? Yes, take the time to get it because if you guys like Torg and Stickies, this is something you're going to want to have in your inventory. And that's pretty much what I have to say about the gun. So, again, I will catch you in the next one. It's your boy Scare Soldier signing out. Peace.